Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Roblox Premium prompt when a part is touched. Just before the video begins, I'd like to announce that my Roblox game has now been released, Fish Magnet Simulator. The whole point in the game is you run around with a fishing net, collecting fish, which you are then able to sell for coins, then to purchase eggs, buy better buckets with more capacity, and also fishing nets that can give you a wider range. If you did want to go check out the game, the link to the game is in the description. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, you want to head up to the top bar here, click on View, and then Enable Explorer and Properties, and they should show up somewhere over your screen. Once you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you want to click back on the Home button here, and now we want to insert our part, which the player is going to be touching. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to be making it kind of like a pad, that players can walk onto and then I'm going to make sure to go anchor it and I'm just going to go and change the color to maybe like a nice light blue but there we go we have gone and made our part which the player will be touching so go customize your part so now that you've done that you can go and change the name of your part for this tutorial I'm just going to be leaving it as part but you can go and change this to premium part or premium prompt part it's completely up to you but it is not necessary to go and change anything for this tutorial I'm just going to be leaving it as part once you've done that click on the plus button next to your part and insert a script. By the way, many of you have actually been asking me how do I zoom in and out of the script? Basically, all I'm doing is I'm just holding down control and then I'm using my scroll wheel to scroll in and then scroll out. This is great, especially if your eyesight isn't too good and you wanna see the code more easier. Now you can see it's way easier to see compared to code out here. The only time you'd really be out this far is if you've got a big chunk of code here and part of the code extends that way. But realistically, even if you're at the top here like that, and you've got code extending past this area, you can, there will be a scroll wheel along the bottom, which basically allows you to drag your text. So let's go and spam this, for example. You can see there, I can now use the scroll wheel to drag back and forth. For this tutorial, we don't wanna have a bunch of S's all over our script. So what you wanna do, you wanna go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste in the new code. Luckily for this tutorial, we do not need to go and adjust anything. So we want to head up here, click on the X next to our script, and then we want to go click on play to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base play, and if I go run over the part, we'll be prompted to purchase premium. Now from here, people are able to subscribe to premium, basically going onto the membership of Roblox Premium, or they can say, oh, no, no, and click X up here to close the premium prompt. But if we go do that again, we'll be able to see that we are prompted to purchase premium. If you would like to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, so you're notified every single time we upload a new video. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket to my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next video.